there's not many opportunities for girls sports around here so I thought it would be a great opportunity to get like my friends involved because I don't really have much to do like after school other than like homework whereas this gives you a chance to run around and have a bit of fun it's not too serious. They do have a girls team but it's only like for the people that are good at sports like you get on that team whereas down here if you're not a particularly good cricket player you can just come down and enjoy yourself. Each week we do like harder stuff so it's never like easy I guess so it's always a challenge for you. Some girls kind of think less of themselves with other boys like dominating the sports but I think when girls dominate in the sport I think it's really good. When I first started playing with the boys they all kind of stared at me and like they had like really confused faces and they kept on like mumbling like saying oh she won't be that good but I, I kind of proved them wrong. I know there's a lot of girls who are afraid to really put the effort into it because they, they're worried about how they look. They don't want to be sort of sweaty and a bit ruffled and everything. That's why you've got to encourage them to really get into it because then you put aside all those sort of fickle concerns. There wasn't much cricket here in Camden. There wasn't many opportunities for kids to play cricket outside of school. For us, it's quite local, so we could come here like, easily. Shailim and Khalid, they're friendly with us and they speak to us as if like they're our age. It's been two years, I've been tournaments, I've been practicing my bowling, my batting. If I wouldn't be playing cricket, I'll be sitting down watching TV. The atmosphere at the sessions is loud, they're very passionate. And they love it, absolutely love it, it's the main sport. It's just like a meetup every week with different people. It's just a good way to like play with friends. We won this tournament and we went to Edbuston. We played there, we came second over there. It was a wonderful experience playing there. Much more active. Plus it's really fun as well, so I don't know why you'd want to miss it. So I came in and turned outside, you were starting a girls team. So from then on it kind of just developed. So now I play school cricket, I play for a club and I played a bit of district cricket as well. The barriers we face are just massive, cultural barriers from parents not wanting to let the children play, to racial barriers that when we went to competition, so the coaches were against it. Despite the barriers, we have managed to knock them down and we managed to get to where we are today. Just having a girls only project, it was to address the need that we had quite shy girls and parents from like Muslim backgrounds that wanted a female coach, that otherwise they wouldn't let their girls play sport. So if they saw that there was, you know, two female coaches running the session, it was, um, you know, away from, you know, men's eyes. They didn't discourage me, but in Asian households, it's not really, oh, you girls go out and play sport. I don't think it even comes to mind, let alone be encouraged. There's never really been any opportunities for girls to play. It was nothing for girls at school. I never had that confidence to join a club, so it wasn't until something like Chance of Shine came around that I actually got an opportunity to join. My friends at school, when they found out that I was playing cricket, it was absolutely hilarious. In an Asian girl who wears a hijab playing cricket, that doesn't happen very often. I couldn't play cricket at all. I was very close to giving up because I didn't feel like I could do it, but Sabah can encourage me that I will get better with time. Three years on and I've started playing hardball and coaching as well so that's only due to the support that she's given me. She sort of built a bond with everyone in the club. She's definitely been very good help on like when I was going through GCSEs, like the stress of GCSEs, she's definitely helped us through that and sort of been a good guide and a mentor. This area is not a particularly affluent area, it's a condensed area really, there's a lot of children sort of playing about on the streets, so the area itself sort of overrun by loads of children who are just looking for things to do. So this centre kind of pops up right in the right place where they can offer different opportunities and sports. Something that they can do routine every week keeps them fit, keeps them healthy, keeps them interested and even if they just stay friends with the kids they've met in these surroundings, it, it, it's got something from it. I've been coming here for about a year now and I found out about this cricket club through my mate. So I just started coming because I didn't have nothing to do during the day so when I come home from school. So I just came down. I kept coming back because my friends are here. The coaches are nice. They get on with everyone and it's closer to where I live as well. I never played cricket before when I came here, but then when I started playing there, I thought it was quite good. I want to carry on playing cricket like in the future, but um, I think if the club wasn't here, then I wouldn't be able to like go as much because um, I only live around the corner, so it's not really hard to get like transport to get here. I started playing cricket here for three years ago 
I would like to keep playing cricket here because I get to play with my friends, I want to stay healthy. If this session wasn't here, I wouldn't be able to play cricket because there was no, there's been nowhere else to play it. It just has to be here. This should be like everywhere in everything, every country or something.